So today I'm gonna to show you how to rent out your home on Zillow. Now here we're on the main page of the website and on the left side you're gonna see a couple different options. One of them is to rent, but that's actually for someone who's looking to rent a home, but we wanna go ahead and list our home. So in order to be able to do that, we actually want to click on the option or hover at least over the option that says manage rentals. Now, the way that's phrased, it makes it seem like you already have an account. So if you didn't, then that wouldn't be for you. But if you hover over, you're gonna see where it says my listings. And if we're gonna click on here, you're gonna see it's gonna take us to a page just like this. And you're gonna see where it says select properties, but down here you're gonna see where it says add a new property. Now, I'm already logged into a Zillow account because I like to look online for stuff. So if you don't already have one, you just gotta make sure you create an account. It's a free account to create. And then when you click over here, you're gonna see where it says add a new property. So we're gonna click on here. So you're gonna see the first thing it's gonna ask you right over here, it says providing the basic information. You'll put in the street address if there is a unit number and the type of property that it is. And you're gonna go ahead and create a new listing. So once we went ahead and plugged in our address as well as saying that it's a home, it's gonna go through this whole process right over here that you can see uh, at the very top, it's gonna ask for property information, listing details, the lease, any kind of media, amenities, contact information, your review, and then you can finally go ahead and publish. Now, so from right over here, there is a spot at the very bottom of the screen here that actually says get started. Let me see if I can actually just scroll down down to that which I can't. So if we click on get started, you're gonna see where it's gonna go ahead and start asking you some information. Now, some of this information is already pre-filled out based off of Zillow's information. So if maybe you've done updates or changes to some things, uh, you can go ahead and switch those out right over here, as you can see that I am currently doing. So we're gonna go ahead and add these in. It's gonna be an area for you to go ahead and describe the property. So go ahead and put that in. So the next question right over here, you can see it's gonna ask you, do you want to hide the property address on this listing? You can hit no, which is recommended, or you can put on yes. So right over here, it's gonna say, how much is the monthly rent? The current uh, Zestimate right here for this property is 1600, but because of the way we're doing it, which on our property, we're gonna be doing all utilities and it's fully furnished, we're actually gonna be plugging in a little bit of a higher number than this, but obviously go with what is gonna be best for you and your area. So here it's gonna ask you, how much is the security deposit? It says amount generally shouldn't exceed 150% of the base rent. So you can put in the percentage right over here, or you can just go ahead and click on here saying requires one month's rent. So next up here, it's gonna ask you when your property is available to rent. So you can put the date automatically or you can change that to the beginning of the following month. Next here, it's gonna ask what the duration of the lease is. You can say uh, one month, six months, a year, rent to own, sublet, temporary. So whichever option works best for you. And then right over here, it says, what is your pet policy? It says, let renters know if pets are allowed and if so, what kind? Obviously you have options like no pets allowed, cats allowed, small dogs allowed, large dogs allowed. And you can actually check mark each one that actually works for you when it's with the different animals. So right over here, it's gonna ask you, what should renters know about the lease terms? It says, share the details that can be a deal breaker or deal maker for renters. Be upfront about the fees and utility costs. Also include your pet smoking and parking policies. So next up here is gonna be adding photos. So make sure you take some really great photos of the property to be able to upload right over here. So here on the next step, it's gonna ask which amenities does your property have? So just make sure you check off all that apply. And then you can also add a few more here at the bottom if you'd like. So next up here, it's gonna ask where the laundry room is located. So you can obviously choose the option that works best. So next up here, it's gonna say who's listing this property for rent. So you can choose the option that works best, put in the name and the email address. So from here, it's gonna ask for your phone number. So go ahead and add that. So here it's gonna ask, do you want to allow renters to contact you by phone? Um, if you choose no, the listing will display without a phone number. Uh, you can do yes, which is recommended or no. So from here, it's gonna ask you what days are you available to show the property? So choose all the options that work best for you. So right over here, it's gonna say, receive Zillow applications for this listing. It says you'll automatically get credit report from identity verified applicants, background checks, income and employment history, resident, uh, resident history and previous landlord contacts. You do yes, or you can do no on this option. So once you get to this point right over here, this is reviewing everything, making sure that we are looking good with all the details. You can choose to push these down over here so that way you can just double check all the information. You can click on the edit button if you wanna go through essentially the whole process all over again. And if everything looks good, there is going to be a publish button on the bottom right hand side that you can go ahead and click on. And now our listing is getting ready to post. So we will be able to start getting inquiries about the property. Now, if you're somebody who's also looking for other ways to start listing your property to make some money, I want you to check out my video right over here to learn how to list your property on Airbnb. My name is Dennis and I will help you in that next video.